everybody, the Bang is back. Welcome to part 10 of Let's Play Mario's Time Machine for the Super Nintendo. And of course, this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. I think it's time to grab the final artifact in Floor 2, which is the Flag of India, from Calcutta, 1947. Few political leaders have brains, I mean, earned the prestige of Mohandas K. Gandhi. Born in India in 1869, he studied law in Britain and settled in South Africa. There, he protested unjust laws with caffeine campaigns called Sadia Gra, whatever that is. What's that word? Sadia Graha, whoa. Weird name. Meaning grasping for the truth. After some success, Gandhi returned to Itty, India in um, 1915. A land ruled by the British since 1757. That was a lucky guess, I'm not gonna lie. Gandhi first sought cooperation, but after a violent British attack on nationalists, he organized non-violent protests against British rule. Soon called Mahatma, of course. Usually he's known as Mahatma Gandhi. Or Great Soul. He united Indian factions and extracted British concessions by threatening to fast himself to death. In 1942, when he refused to support the British in World War II, apparently, he was jailed. After the war, he participated in a conference with British Viceroy Mountbatten, what kind of name is Mountbatten, which led to the independence and partition of India and Pakistan, which of course are still rivals as of this day. Well, enemies really, not rivals. Though Gandhi was mortally wounded one year later, his enduring legacy is in the practice of passive resistance. Hope I just passed it. A tactic later used during the civil rights movement in the United States. And we all know how that usually goes. Alright, wait, where's Calcutta? Oh, there it is. 1947, I believe. Hopefully I got the year right. There, once we get this done, we're done with floor two, and then we can go to the final one. Well, technically the museum has four floors, but the fourth floor is really where the ending takes place. There's no boss battle or anything, just, that's it. There's only three floors with levels in them. But anyways, we should get this done pretty fast. At most, 15 parts. Well, actually, at least 15 parts, really. Depending on how much of a slacker I am. There we go. Finally, we're in India. And it reeks of curry, unfortunately. Hi, a neat store you got here. Is it yours? The store may be, but the goods aren't. Most of what you see here is made in Britain, using India's materials. Gandhi has worked hard to change this since his return from South Africa in 1915. Gandhi? Who is Gandhi? Um, that person you just read about earlier? You must be a stranger here in Calcutta. Gandhi has been a great leader in our struggle for independence. He had hoped that if we helped the British in World War I, they would free us, alas. They didn't free you after World War I? Goodness no. Then later, at Am Amherstar, many of our people lost their lives. That's what caused Gandhi to organize the first Satyagraha in India. Satyagraha? What? Satyagraha means grasping for the truth. It is protest by passive resistance, and it works. Today is Independence Day. Let me offer you these incense as a symbol of sweet freedom. Wait, I need to know more about Gandhi. I'm sorry, but look at the time. I must get back to my study so I can be a lawyer in our new India, just like Gandhi. Have you seen my law book by any chance? No. Hi there, what's happening? I beg your pardon, do you know to whom you are speaking? I am a judge of the Crown Colony of India, sir. That is, until the independence ceremony today. Independence Day? Should be fun, right? Fun? Hardly. The sun is setting on the jewel in the British Empire's crown. It seems independence is the fashion, thanks to this man, Gandhi. And from now, all of and you will address me as Your Grace. What's Gandhi got to do with it, Your Grace? Everything! He's led these people to freedom. 
quite brilliant, though, due in no small power to his British education. He lent me this law book once, but now it is only a bitter reminder. Take it. Gave you trouble, huh? And this trouble. He was held in such high regard. There was little we could do about him. He believes in peace, but on his terms. Oh, but I need a spot of tea. It's always with a tea with you, isn't it, you stupid British people? Talk about stereotype. Here's your law book. Why, thank you, my little friend. Now we can study the law. The British legal system is one of the good things left to us that we hope to use in our new country. Have things always gone Gandhi's way? Goodness, no. He had to stop the study of Graz when they became violent in the 1920s. But by that time, he had earned worldwide recognition and prestige for his methods. That helped him quite a bit. How did that help? Well, when Gandhi threatened to fast until death in order to get concessions from both the British and his fellow citizens of India, people took notice. I don't get it. How did that help? The British could not risk the world condemnation that he actually come to harm. And his own people of India, well, they simply could not bear to let their Mahatma suffer. So is fasting ended violence? Sadly, no. Violence is never far away. Even now, many Hindus and Muslims will not live together. And still today... For that reason, India and Pakistan have been separated. Gandhi opposed it, but some blame him. Well, it was for the best, to be honest with you. Yeah, I don't want to talk to Gandhi yet. Let's go over here. Hi, how can you? We always welcome strangers in our ashram. We are a community of Hindus leading a simple religious life. Please enter. A simple life? You mean boring? No, no, no. In fact, today it's quite exciting. India is celebrating her independence from Great Britain. They have ruled us as a colony of their empire since 1757. They ruled you for nearly 200 years? Yes, they wanted to buy their, want us to buy their goods. At the same time, they needed our products, such as tea. Here, have some. Thanks, so how'd you gain your freedom? Only after years of great struggle, many worked hard and sacrificed much. One man stands out. I'll tell you about him as soon as I find the incense that I misplaced. Oh, thank you! You're a curious little man. Are you British or Hindu or Muslim? Or are you one of the many other peoples of this large land? No, I'm a plumber. Who is this one man? Mahatma Gandhi. He is one of the leaders that put our country on the path towards freedom. We admire him here because he practices the Hindu ideas of asceticism. Whatever that is. Asceticism? What's that? It's the strict denial of material comforts. That is why the Mahatma wears only a shawl and loincloth. He is a lawyer educated in Britain. He will not dress in rich man's clothes. Oh, you call him Mahatma. Why? Oh, Mahatma means great soul. Gandhi himself has rejected the title, but the people insist. It was given to him after he began his campaigns of passive resistance. What is passive resistance? Oh, God. It is the way the Mahatma has taught us to practice civil disobedience. When confronted by the authorities or breaking an unjust law, we refuse to fight them. Any violence is their own. But don't they just arrest you? And more of us resist until the jails are full. We can defend ourselves, but we never tr we try never to do violence. And Mahatma began using this method in South Africa when he encountered terrible injustice. Interesting. Anyways, let's get this guy his tea, which is probably cold by now. Ah, uh, thank you, old chap. Where was I? Ah, Mohandas Gandhi. Ah, a criminal. Spent more than two years in prison, you know. Gandhi in jail? Why? This man's a traitor. Here we were fighting the Axis powers in World War II, and Gandhi insists India will fight for the crown only if we give India her freedom. There are no bargains in war, sir. See, so put him in jail? Not at first. But then he organized another Sadia Gra. The limit! Since he was released in 44, he's been negotiating into India's independence with British representatives, including Mountbatten. Mountbatten? Who's he? The famed British naval commander, of course. First in valor on the high seas, now the last viceroy of India. What a world! British rule will end when they raise that flag of yours. Yeah, I better do that right now. Fuck the British, nah, just kid. Hi, folks, can I ask you something? Please, not now. We were about to begin the Independence Day ceremony and raise our new flag. There seems to be some delay, and everyone is frozen still. Here's your flag. You are just in time, my small friend. A new era is dawning for the people of India. Thank you, Mario. I shall not forget you. Say, Mahatma, any Koopas bothering you? No, no, Mario. But your life seems so full of endless struggle. Perhaps you should consider defeating these enemies of yours through passive resistance. 
Yeah, didn't I try that on my exclusive Super Mario Brothers game through on GameAnyone.com? Well, it was passive until we got to Bowser and then the bitch just gets owned because I have no choice. Anyways, let's get out of here. It's starting to reek of curry. And Hindu people and elephants and more Hindu people. And let's get out of here. Yeah, with that in mind, we're gonna hand head over to floor three, the last one. With even funkier music, and sadly, even though we see faces of Koopalings, you don't see them in this game. Anyways, let's stop the video right here. Stay tuned for the next part when we go through the last third of the game. Goodbye, everyone.